look in the mirror Man, you're so dirty Yeah, you look so dirty You were never worthy Lately, it's you Welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show If you're easily triggered, <clears throat> leave now Because this is not the show for you Now, let me tell you what I'm going to talk about right now In today's video, I'm going to, to discuss how most modern women in my community, how they tend to stay single, but pregnant at the same time. So I have a lady right here. She is actually both of those things. And we're going to talk about it. We're going to see what got into this situation. Let's go ahead and get into this. One second, y'all. Hope y'all having a great day. I'm having a great day myself. Thank you very much. Boom. Oops, wrong way. I wonder where I can... Have a, there it is. All right. Let's get it. All right. Kind of want to get into a topic today. Um, a little bit of background about myself. I am 27 years old. I have a five-year-old daughter who's going to be six in a couple of weeks. And I am also with child. Second child. Um, I'm having a boy. Basically, I came on here to kind of talk about my journey right now as a single pregnant mother. And I know everybody looking at me like I'm crazy now, like, oh, blah, blah, you know who you had a baby by, and this, that, and the third, and blah, 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 blah. like, okay, whatever. I'm I want y'all to catch that. That was her uh, deflecting and avoiding shame. Every what she say, everybody says you know who you had the baby with, and yada yada yada. So that lets you know that the men that she's been sleeping with, even people in her neighborhood, know they wouldn't worth a damn. Okay, that's what that means. When people say stuff like that, they they're looking at you like you're dumb. Like you should already know. Most likely, the men that she was sleeping with already had different baby mamas anyway. And when you look at her and you watch her talk, she seems like she she's grown. But she has the mindset of a child. She sounds like a child. She sounds like a tall child in a young woman's body. It's going to take some years for, and some stress because she got two kids for the, for the second child on the way. But some stress, some more heartbreaks and stuff like that to where she's going to be a little bit more mature and realize life ain't no joke and everybody don't owe you anything. And this is what happens when women become bitter and she's going to start not liking no man at all because of this. Let's keep going. I'm not really the type of person to go do what I do, be grown or whatever you want to call it. And then when I get pregnant, you know, like the A word, get rid of it. I'm not that type of person. Um, I know what I did and I'm definitely just not comfortable with getting rid of my baby. Don't get me wrong. I'm not against people who, you know, are able to do that. Like your body, your, you know, you do what you do for your body like that's just you i'm just not the type of person um and of course you don't think that like oh you get pregnant with your when you're with your boyfriend you think that you you want to be together you know you want things to work out and when it don't it's not like you get rid of and this is what happens with a lot of women they have wishful thinking they don't have plans made you get what i'm saying the i hope and i wish that it'll work out. I believe if I give him a baby, I believe if I lay down with him and give him access to access to my womb, spit out a child through my womb, that he'll be with me. It'll work out. I just believe you have to vet me in character. And the way you really can vet a man in character is at it, is by looking at his accomplishments. What is he doing? Is he a bum? Is he just sitting down, ain't doing nothing with his life? Or is he out there getting it, trying to become somebody? Women don't even think about that. Women be like, okay, he's attractive, he got swag, and I love him. I'm going to keep this baby. Now, even though she says, and you know, whatever your opinion is about abortion or whatever it is for you, and I understand that, but my thing is right here. When you women get in these type of situations, man, and you decide to carry the child full term. Why do you think life is going to become easier when you're a single mother? And I guarantee you this. Even though she's talking that good cash money stuff right now. She's going to be hitting that man for child support. She's going to be one of the women say, I don't need my man, my, my baby daddy for nothing. But take him to court. At the same time. Rid of it like or something. I don't know. Can't really explain it. But yeah. I'm not getting rid of my baby. I wasn't going to get rid of my baby. Because I thought, you know. 
Hey, we're gonna be together. We're gonna make this work. Unfortunately, it didn't. Cool. I would honestly say that this is not what I wanted. Like, I wanted to be married or engaged when I had my second child. Then y'all ladies have to stop opening your legs so easy, man. You say that's not what you wanted, but what's so funny about that when women say that, I did not want to be a single mom. If you ask that same woman who said that, ask her this question. Did you ever require marriage? Did you ever talk about marriage before you got pregnant? And I guarantee you, majority of the time, the answer is no. Because the first one didn't work either. Yes, I have two baby daddies. Yes, I'm a statistic. Yes, yes, yes. All your Damn. questions, yes. But y'all not gonna get on here and make me feel bad. Like, <laughs> I know what I did. Okay, like whatever but i know i'm not the only person that's going through this so that's why i honestly came on tiktok to talk about it because pregnant and single is like by far one of the hardest things i've ever encountered on top of being a mother on top of working full time like oh my god y'all this is hard this is like really hard and that's why i came on here like mostly the event you know and then sometimes it'd be a lot of uplifting fam, like uplifting people out here. But, um, yeah, pregnancy. And then you see, you see everybody like when they're pregnant with their spouse and they're doing all the pictures. Everything looks so cute. P word, pregnant with their spouse, meaning they got pregnant while they were married. Okay then you, you feel some type of way about that now because you see it how it's supposed to have went, okay? You moved too fast. So now you're on the outside looking in on how it was supposed to go. So now you're seeing people who chose to do it the right way with less stress than what you have. Like she just said, being pregnant and single, single is extremely difficult. And guess what? It never be easy and it's never gonna get easier unless you get some help from somebody. And then you see you see everybody like when they're pregnant with their spouse and they're doing all the pictures everything looks so cute and you're just like oh like i wish that was me like yeah that's me right now you can't do it because you're broke when she's married to her husband he can provide the money to take all those pictures and stuff they can pull their money together but when you're broke and you're pregnant and you're a young lady and you're single single you can't do those things you understand the umbrella of protection you get from your husband? The umbrella of protection and provision that you get from your husband? Y'all don't think of it like that. Very emotional, very wish that I had a boyfriend, very wish that I was with the person that I had my child with, you know? You wish that, because that's what you want. Like, you want to give your kids a two-parent household. Yes, I wanted all of that. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. I'm sick of y'all saying that shit. If you wanted to give your children a two-parent household, you would have made the right decisions to do so. You would have waited. You would have picked the right men. You would have had standards and values that would have led you to a two-parent household. You did not. It sounds good now after the fact that you're pregnant and got these bastard children. But honestly, if you truly wanted that, you would have had that. You didn't want that. You wanted to scream YOLO. You want to have good time. You want to say, hey, demon time. You wanted to run the streets with your mustard back hair for friends. You wanted to sleep with Pookie Ray Ray and Nook Nook and let them skeet up in you. That's what you wanted. Having a two-parent household of stability, you did not want. You want to give your kids a two-parent household? Yes, I wanted all of that. And watching other people go through it, I just be like, oh my God, like y'all so lucky because being single, it's just like so many emotions, so many things you go through. You just like by yourself. Like, don't get me wrong, family and everything is very important. Family, friends, yes, love y'all down, love y'all down, down, down. Like y'all have been my support system. But it's different when you have the male figure that you know that you share the baby with. Like it's so different. It just feels different. Like at the beginning of my pregnancy, I did have him. You know, we was good. We was working through everything, cool. But just things, you know, didn't work out. So decided to split up or whatever, mutual feelings, like we both decided that it was for the best. Um, yeah. I
Uh, let me show you something before anything else. Let me show you another clip of her. I went to her page and show you how she acts so you can see, so you won't feel sorry for her, how she acts. I got to keep the music down because it might be a copyright with this. But this is what she does on TikTok. She get almost, you no know, skin tight stuff and she likes to show it off. I, I didn't show some of the other nastiest shit she did, but this is her right here. You see her? This is what she does. She's like a young bopper. We say in the South, bopper. She a thot. That's what she is. I know somebody, oh, how you know? Look at her. She a young thot. And she seemed like she gullible and got no damn sense either. So that's what got her in the situation that she in right now. It sounds mean, but it's the truth. It is the truth, man. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think about this subject, man. Am I being too mean or I'm just being honest here? You get me? All right. Y'all take it easy now, yeah?